Good morning and welcome to our Act of Remembrance for 2020. Many of you this morning I know will be watching online. We hope that you can see an order of service. It is available from the website, the church's website at www.allsaintsbuschurch.com. So we gather now for this Act of Remembrance. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? We meet today, in person or remotely, in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. And so this morning we remember those in our communities the role of honour 1914 to 1918 Bass Church. William Barclay, Thomas Brain, Frederick Brown, John Moss Dakin, William Joseph Doricott, John Eddies, George Keith Elliott, Herbert Feltus, Philip Vaughan Alberton, Roger Victor Cecil Hunt, Thomas R. Fowles, Herbert James, Edward Jones, James James, Harry Mullinex, Charles Frederick Onions, John Owen, Bernard Sutton Ratcliffe, John Herbert Roberts, Charles Wilfred Salt, William Wainwright, George Woods, Thomas Henry Woodhouse, from Western Lullingfields, Thomas Dean, William H. Griffiths, William Dickin, George Leake, David Roberts, John Roberts, James Stockton, George C. Griffiths, from Hordley, William Paddock, William Reeves, Richard Price, Joseph Mason. And 1939 to 1945, Joseph Anthony Davis, Herbert James Doricott, Percy Evans, John Walter Parry, Albert Edmund Pritchard, 
Richard Reynolds Jack Williams Richard Jones Harold Williams and for those who have war graves here in Bass Church but are not mentioned on our war memorial Robert William Richards William John Taylor C. E. Harris W. H. Turner N. Willis We also remember those who gave their lives in Korea Suez, Cyprus, Aden, the Falklands, Northern Ireland the First Gulf Conflict, the Balkans, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, and Iraq. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them we will remember them Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears 
bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We'll now sing, O oh God, our help in ages past. from the New Testament. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And And after he he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Just a few words on that reading this morning. Remembrance Sunday in this year, 2020, is a Remembrance Sunday like no other. This year we have seen the 75th anniversaries of victory in Europe and victory in Japan and the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. Yet we've been unable to commemorate these anniversaries in the way we intended to due to the coronavirus. 
However, we did commemorate, and we did remember. And like all other Remembrance Sundays, we remember today those who gave their lives in the service of this country and other countries. We remember the selfless acts of sacrifice given by so many in our two world wars and the many other wars since. The Remembrance theme for 2020 is coming home, a strange theme given that those we remember today did not come home, or at least not to an earthly home. The men and women of our armed forces have, over the years, stood for freedom, peace and justice, and for some they paid the ultimate sacrifice and gave their lives. The Bible reading this morning comes from the Gospel of St. Matthew and is part of what is known as the Sermon on the Mount that was given by Jesus himself. The particular verses we heard are called the Beatitudes, strange statements which seem to contradict each other. But given that they come from Jesus' mouth, who himself turned the world upside down, maybe they're not so strange. God's way of living, which Jesus came to model to us, is very different from the world's way. God's way says we must be willing to give while the world takes, to love when others hate, and to give up our rights to serve others. And Jesus says when we do this, we will be blessed. And by that he means that we will have happiness beyond whatever we can imagine. A happiness that brings hope and joy beyond our outward circumstances. Blessings do not come from wealth, power or authority, but humility and self-sacrifice. And over the last few years, as we have remembered and commemorated milestones in our history, and if we have heard some pretty amazing stories of self-sacrifice and love for others. But these stories were not without pain and heartache for families and loved ones. This year we have witnessed similar but different scenes of self-sacrifice and love. Standing alongside our regular NHS workers have been doctors and nurses from our armed forces. Together they have shown love and sacrifice, which has cost some their lives in this new fight that the world faces. No one who enters a battle or conflict comes away without being changed. They may not show physical stars, scars, but scars are more than physical marks, and many carry that inner scar of wounded hearts and minds. In conflict, there is always a separation from family and loved ones, a feeling of facing the unknown, seeing things that no one should have to see or face. But that desire to see the world a better place to reach out to those in need, to show love and mercy, is what drives them on. Conflicts, wars, fights for freedom, justice, peace, and even our health require commitment, dedication, a belief that they can help to do good, and a desire to help and support others. But above all, it requires us all to seek a different way of living. So may we learn from their sacrifices. Those who have given their lives may not come home to an earthly dwelling place, but instead rest in God's eternal kingdom, a place where the poor are blessed, the hungry fed, where there is no persecution, and where they meet face to face with God. May each one of them be blessed this day as we remember them and the sacrifice they made for us. So let us pray. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace for the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. May God give peace. God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, 
offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. May God give peace. God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their self-return. May God give peace. God give peace. For civilian women, children and men, whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity. May God give peace. God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. God give peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we treasure and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, we may put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. Let, Let us commit, commit ourselves, ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We will. Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We will. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in the hearts of all people and live lives of justice, courage and mercy through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. Grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.